So I'm uh, Captain Ralph Butler. I'm a, a general surgeon slash colorectal surgeon from Navy Medical Center Portsmouth here augmenting 2nd Medical Battalion following under CLB2. So mass casualty drill is when we test the resources of the uh, medical system to its limits. We try to push our boundaries and uh, see how, how we can do with multiple patients. We define a mass casualty as any time we overwhelm our system. Well, we uh, learn a lot of our communication process as well as review the medical and surgical uh, care. Uh, and also work on the medical regulating, which is the tr patient transport and tracking. Uh, it depends on where we are in the deployment cycle. Uh, prior to deployment, they happen, uh, we do field exercises and uh, work up to deployment just like other units. Uh, on a non-deployment cycle, we'll do them at least once a year. The members that are organic to 2nd Medical Battalion certainly do them more frequently. Well, we have uh, notionalized points of injury and patient scenarios. So we start the drill from the very beginning at the point of injury through the communication piece, the, tri the triage piece, which is where we sort the patients out and figure out where they're going to go. The patient arrival into the shock trauma platoon or the ER. Um, the initial treatments and then figuring out who's going to go into the operating room or get transported to a higher uh, echelon of care. Yep, so I'm Chief Hospital Corpsman Matthew Scott Federoff, and I'm the Senior Enlisted Leader for the 1st SDP team with 2nd Medical Battalion, Charlie Company. Mass casualty drill is, is a scenario that bases uh, an overwhelming amount of patients or trauma to uh, the team that we currently have. Uh, it's pretty much any overflow of patients that overwhelms the capabilities that we may have do, either dealing with uh, personnel-wise or um, supply-wise. So the purpose of the mass casualty drill is to actually prepare our team and so we can all work together, uh, talk to each other, have the good flow of communication, um, treat the patients as they come in, get them stabilized, um, hopefully not any, with any loss of life, uh, so we can get to the next echelon level of care. What we expect to get out of the drills is for everyone to get more familiar and more comfortable with their, their treatment that they provide, get familiar with the uh, equipment that we use to help stabilize uh, the patients, um, the communication flow, obviously, um, and we want to make sure we get the, prevent any loss of life overall. We try to run them on a once a quarter, once, a, once we're in med battalion, um, and again, that's just keep our proficiency up and make sure that we all communicate well and get, you know, get, keep our, hone our skills to where they need to be. Things take place during drills. Uh, <laughs> that's kind of a loaded question. Um, so we got a wider range of cross training um, that happens. So we, we try to utilize the pro staff of our medical officers, medical doctors, to help teach and train our corpsmen how we can better treat and stabilize patients once they get in. So we want to get comfortable with the equipment. We want to get comfortable with each other, with the communication. Uh, the med reg team, we want to make sure they're comfortable with the overwhelming amount of information that they receive so they can um, accurately track and um, triage patients as they come in. For our dental team, who acts as our triage, triage team as they come in, we want to make sure they get comfortable with making the right call on the triage levels as patients arrive in. HM2 Timothy Moore uh, with CLB2 Surgical Company, TAD from 2nd Medical Battalion, and I work in combat trauma management. Uh, mass casualty drill is something that a surgical company uh, internally conducts uh, upon deployment, whenever they deploy, to ensure that their set processes uh, function adequately in support of numerous casualties. Planning for upcoming deployment takes place months before you actually deploy. What the mass casualty drill actually does is it reinforces uh, people's um, confidence in the system and in the established guidelines that have been put forth. It also identifies weak points that might be able to be improved upon so that we can provide the best patient care if and when that actually does occur. That question entirely depends on the unit. Uh, a good unit conducts them fairly regularly but there's no set period. So during the casualty drills, uh, we stress every section of the surgical company from uh, the medical regulating section, which actually receives the call that there's incoming casualties to the triage section, uh, the, the shock trauma platoon, and the forward resuscitative surgical uh, system. Uh, it forces them to think on their feet. Uh, as casualties come in, we only have one operating room bed, so they have to think of that as a uh, 
uh, an asset that has to be used properly. You can only use one, have one patient in the emergency room, I'm sorry, you can only have one patient in the operating room at a time, uh, so you have to be able to hold on to and stabilize patients uh, in the rest of the system without overloading yourself.